Welcome back to the class on a power semiconductor track. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about the operation of a three-phase fully controlled converter with a DC motor. Here, we are assuming that the load current is a constant load current. So this is the circuit diagram of the three-phase fully controlled converter. These are the SCRs. T1, T3, T5 are nothing but an odd group of the SCR. Another name for the T1, T3, T5 is the positive group of S. T2, T4, T6 are the even group of SCRs. Another name is the negative group of SCRs. Why you are calling this device as a positive group means whenever the input voltage of the particular device is more positive, then the device is forward bias. Suppose if we take the T1, T1 is forward bias only when A phase is more positive. Suppose if we take the T4, it is a negative group of SCR. It is forward bias only when the A phase is more negative. Like the T3, T5 and T2, T4 also. Here the, we have taken the load as a armature of a DC motor. The field is exerted with depth, separate DC source. So whenever we are keeping this armature here means, it means that it is consisting a resistance LA and AB. RA is nothing but a armature resistance of the winding. LA is nothing but a inductance of a armature winding. E is nothing but a back EMF in a DC motor. This load is getting a voltage from the source only when one device has to conduct from the positive group and another device has to conduct from the negative group. Then only there is a closed path between the source and the load. Otherwise, load is not getting any voltage. Suppose here, we are assuming that from the positive group of SCR, T1 is conducting. From the negative group of SCR, T6 is conducting. When the T1 is conducting, this upper terminal is connected to the A. When T6 is conducting, this B terminal is connected to the lower, nothing but it is connected to the B. So the output voltage V0 equal to VA. We can draw the output voltage if you take the input voltage as a line voltage, then we can easily sketch the output voltage. That's why here we have taken the input voltage as a, as a line voltage. Here the phase voltages are the A, B, C. How we are going to take the line voltage means VAB, VAC. Nothing but A is combining with B and also we are combining with C. Next VBC, VBA. VBC, comma VBA. Next we are combining with a VCA, VCB. VCA, VCB. So in this manner, we are, we are going to take the six line voltages as a input voltage. How we are going to draw this line voltages? That we are going to see here. The first line voltage we have represented mathematically. VAB equal to VML sin omega t, VAC equal to VML sin omega t minus pi by 3 because the delay angle between the AB and AC is the 60 degrees. VBC equal to VML sin omega t minus 2 pi by 3, VBA equal to VML sin omega t minus pi, VCA equal to VML sin omega t minus 4 pi by 3, VCB equal to VML sin omega t minus 5 by, by 3. These are the expression for the 6 line voltage mathematically. We are going to draw the input voltage waveform. First, I have taken the x-axis. On the x-axis, I have taken the omega t, nothing but angle. At 0 degree, I have taken one vertical line. Again, same manner, 360 degrees, I have taken the one more vertical line. Because I am going to draw the input voltage only within the one side. So, at every 60 degrees, I am going to take the one dotted line. This is a positive maximum voltage. This is the negative maximum voltage. Now we are going to draw the vertical line. Say at every 60 degrees. See here, this is 60 degrees vertical line. Next, we have taken the 120 degrees vertical line. Next, we have taken the 180 degrees vertical line. Next, 240 degrees, we have taken the one more vertical line, 300, like that. I will show how to draw the input voltage. Now we want to draw the input voltage VA. VAB equal to VML sin omega t. This is the sine function. At what point it is starting is to find that one, you have to make this angle equal to zero. The VAB voltage starting point is zero. So it is starting from this here. 
90 degrees means we are getting here. At 90 degrees, it is reaching the positive maximum value. Next 90 degrees, it is coming here. This waveform is coming to the zero. Next 90 degrees, it is coming here. At the moment, 90 degrees here. Negative maximum. Next, it is come to the zero. See, this is nothing but a VAB. Now, in the same manner, if you want to draw the VAC, you have to make this angle equal to zero. Nothing but omega t minus pi by three, we have to make it zero. So omega t equal to pi by three. Nothing but this waveform is starting from this point, 60 degrees. So from the 60 degrees, we are starting 90 degrees, nothing but 60, 90. At this point, it reaches the positive maximum value. Next 90 degrees, it is come to the zero. Next 90 degrees, it is coming to the negative maximum value. We are stopping that waveform at a 360 degrees. The same manner we are extending this waveform this side also. So this is 60 degrees. At the moment, 30 degrees here, 90 degrees. Extend this waveform such a way that to join this point and leave this at a zero degree. Because we are going to draw the waveform within the 360 degrees. Now, if we draw the VBC, now you have to make this angle equal to zero. Nothing but a omega t minus 2 pi by 3 that is equal to 0 and 120 degrees. It is starting from the 120 degrees. At 120 degrees, it is starting. 90 degrees, it reaches the positive maximum value. Next 90 degrees, it is 0. Next 90 degrees, it has to come to the negative maximum, but we are stopping at 360. Now we are drawing this wave from this side. 90 degrees, it reaches maximum. Again, it is. This line voltage will be touching this line voltage. VBA. VBA is nothing but just opposite to the VAB. Already we have drawn the VAB. This is VAB. So this is VAB I am writing here. This is VAC. This is VBC. Next we are drawing the VBA. When you are going to draw the VBA, that is starting from 180 degrees. It reaches the positive maximum value of 90 degrees. Then you come to the zero at this point. Now I have to draw this wave from this side. 90 degrees negative maximum. And after 90 degrees, come to the zero. This is the VBA. Next VCA. The VCA starting point is the 240. So start this waveform at 240. 90 degrees, it reaches the positive maximum value. Again, draw this wave from this side. Negative, positive, come to the zero. Again, it goes in a positive. This is the VCA. The same manner if you draw the VCB, VCB starting at a 300 degrees. So from the 300 degrees, you have to draw the waveform. Actually, here 60 is there. You assume that 30 degrees is here. With that slope, you have to maintain, you have to draw this waveform and leave it at 360. Now I have to develop this wave on this side. So 90 degrees negative maximum. Again, after 90 degrees, come to the zero. So here in this manner, you are getting. Next 90 degrees, it reaches the positive in this manner. This is the VCB. So in this manner, you have to draw the input voltage. Nothing but a, at every 60 degrees, you have to draw a one sine wave by taking a starting point. See, if you observe this waveform, here VAB is there, 60 to 120, VAB is more positive, nothing but a, so VAB, we can write it as a, VAB equal to VA minus VB. VAB is more positive means VA is positive, where VB is more negative. So the firing angle, which is applied to the T1, this is a positive group of the SCR. It is called VA phase. So that we have to measure from only from this point. See here, you have to remember the two points. Once the SCR is on, it has to conduct a 140 degree. Next, the angle between any two successive SCRs is the 60 degrees. Nothing but uh, the delay angle between the T1 to T2, 60. T2 to T3, 60. T3 to T4, 60. Like that. Now come to this here. 60 to 120 degrees, VAB is more positive. 120 to 180. VAC is more positive. Nothing but A phase is more positive, whereas C phase is more negative. We can say very easily that 
from 60 to 180 degrees a phase is maintain the more positive within the 360 degrees one phase is maintain the more positive for 120 degrees for a phase is maintain the more positive from 60 to 180 degrees next b phase is maintain the more positive next 120 degrees next 120 degrees c phase is maintain the more positive that we can observe how we are going to give this firing pass to this device that we are going to see now so this is the vab voltage this is the which is starting from 60 degrees this is the vac voltage next vbc voltage next VBA voltage, next VCA voltage, next VCB voltage. In this panel, we have taken the six line voltage. That point is nothing but a knee point. So, why we are calling this point is knee point means the firing angle which is applied to T1 that we are measured from this point only because the A phase is maintained more positive from the 60 degrees onwards. In this case, I have taken the firing angle less than the 90 degrees. So, I have taken the firing angle alpha equal to 60 degrees. If we take the alpha equal to 60 degrees, so the T1 will be on at a 60 plus 60, nothing but 120 degrees at this point the T1 is on. The T1 is on at this point. Once it is on, it has to conduct a 120 degrees. Next, in a positive group, next device is T3. Next to 120 degrees, T3 has to conduct from this point to this point. Next to 120 degrees, T5 has to conduct. So this duration T5 has to conduct. The delay angle between the T1 and T2 is the 60 degrees. These are nothing but a positive group of SCL. Now we are going to mention how the negative group of SCLs are conducted with a delay angle of 60 degrees. So suppose here the T1 is starting conducting here now the, at this point the t2 is conducting so the delay angle between the t1 and t2 is the 60 degrees once it is conducting it has to conduct a 120 degrees so up to here next t4 has to conduct because in the negative group t2 t4 t6 here 60 degrees here 60 degrees next 120 degrees T6 has to conduct. This is nothing but a conduction of the negative group of SCLs. Now here, already we know that motor is getting a voltage only when one device has to conducting from the positive group and one device has to conduct from the negative group. So at every 60 degrees, what are the devices are conducting that we are writing here, below here, in this region? First, we are writing the positive group of SCR. Next, we are writing the negative group of SCR. First, 60 degrees T5, T4 is conducting. From this point to this point, T5, T6 is conducting. Again, from this point to this point, T1, T6 is conducting. Again, from this point to this point, T1, T2 is conducting. Here, T3, T2 is conducting. Here, T3, T4 is conducting. This is nothing but a positive and negative group of SCR. To develop the output voltage waveform here on the x-axis we have taken the omega t. Any 60 degrees we are going to identify the what is output voltage waveform. Once it is identified, the same waveform will be repeated. So here I have taken the T1, T6. Now come to the circuit diagram. If the T1, T6 is conducting. A phase is connected here. B phase is connected to the lower terminal of the motor. Nothing but a load is subjected to the VAB voltage. So in this region, we have to go up and see how the VAB is changing. This is the magnitude of VAB, this line. You take up the same way from here. This is VAB. The T1, T2 is conducting VAC. Again, go up. How VAC is conducting? This is a region. Suddenly, the output voltage rises to the positive and come to the zero. T3, T2 is conducting. The output voltage becomes a VBC. Again, go up, see the waveform VBC. Next, T3, T4 is conducting T3, T4. Nothing but output voltage becomes a VBA. Go up and see. This is VBA. This is VBC. Sorry, this is VBC. This is VBA. A small mistake. This is VBC. In that manner, complete the output voltage wave. Next, output current. 
Here we have taken the load current is constant load current. So here we take the load current as a constant. DC current. This current is nothing but a which is under the VCA. So this current is nothing but ICA. This is ICA. This is the ICB because it is under the VCB. This current is nothing but a IAB. This is IAC. This is IBC. This is IB. Now let me see what is the physical meaning of IAB. The current is starting from the first circuit. Nothing but A phase. The current is starting in this manner. T1. Load in B phase T6 is there, nothing but here. In this manner, the current will be written. The current is starting from the A phase and written to the B phase. So the phase A current is positive, whereas the phase B current is negative. If we take IAC, nothing but the current is starting from the A phase and written to the C phase. Phase A current becomes a positive, whereas the phase B, phase C current becomes a Negative. Now we are going to draw the one phase current. VCA, nothing but A is nothing but a second subscript. Nothing but a, the current is written to the A phase. So we have to draw in negative. So how much magnitude is there? The same magnitude we draw in a negative. Next VCB, nothing but a, a phase is not supplying any current. Again, here from this point to this point, A phase is supplying a positive current. One quantity. Next, again, B, IBC, nothing but a zero current. Here, IBA, again, the phase A current becomes. So in this manner, I will draw the phase A current. This is the waveform for the phase A current. To find the average output voltage, we should know the what is the repeated voltage in output. So this, I have taken this voltage as a repeated wave. VAB under. So this, this point is nothing but a starting point of the T1. So this we can write it as a 60 plus alpha. So pi by 3 plus alpha, we can write it. Lower limit is pi by 3 plus alpha. Upper limit is for this angle you have to add the 60 degrees. Nothing but this one here becomes a 2 pi by 3 plus alpha. So why you have taken this the lower and upper limits is because you have to find out this area under the repeated curve. Average output voltage is nothing but a area under the repeated curve divided by the base length over which the curve is repeated. So here, to find this area, I have taken the integration that is pi by 3 plus alpha 2, 2 pi by 3 plus alpha V A B D omega T. Base length becomes a 60 degrees. So 1 by base length. So we are getting uh, the 3 by pi. This is nothing but average of 2. In place of VAB, we have taken this expression. So the average output voltage is equal to 3 by pi integral pi by 3 plus alpha 2, 2 pi by 3 plus alpha, VML sin omega t, d omega t. Now you complete this integration. VML is constant take outset. 3 VML by pi integral pi by 3 plus alpha to 2 pi by 3 plus alpha. Integration of the sin omega t is nothing but a cross omega t. Substitute these limits. We are getting the 3 VML by pi cos pi by 3 plus alpha minus cos 2 pi by 3 plus alpha. Here cos c minus cos d formula is there. You apply that cos, d, cos c minus cos d formula simplify this one. Finally, you are getting the 3 VML by pi cos alpha. This is the expression of the average output voltage. Variation of output voltage versus firing angle. You take the firing angle on the x axis. And average output voltage on the y axis. Firing angle we can vary from the 0 to 180 degrees. This is 0, 90 degrees. This is 180. Degrees. Suppose in this expression, if you take alpha equal to 0, this voltage becomes a 3 VML by pi. So we are getting this point here. In this expression, if you take alpha equal to 90 degrees, this voltage becomes a 0. We are getting this point. In this expression, if you substitute the alpha equal to 180 degrees, then you are getting the minus 3 VML by pi, we are getting this point. If we join all these points as a cos function because it is a cos. So this is the variation of the output voltage versus the firing angle. You can observe here one point, the firing angle less than the 90 degrees, the average output voltage is positive. The firing angle more than the 90 degrees, the average output voltage becomes a negative. The firing angle is less than the 90 degrees, 
the average output voltage becomes a positive current is positive nothing but a load power this load power p not equal to v not into i not both are positive nothing but load power is positive this motor is taking a power from the source i think but it will be running in one direction suppose if we make the firing angle more than the 90 degrees this voltage becomes say negative current is always positive because this is the unidirectional circuit it does not allow the current from the bottom to the top now the load power becomes say negative now what is the meaning of negative load power means now the motor is giving a power back to the source that is happen only in this regenerative breaking so this circuit is giving a two quadrant operation one is motoring operation second one is the breaking operation in this class we have discussed about the how the three phase fully controlled converter is operating how should you give a firing pass to the scr or given firing angle that we have seen next we have derived the expression of the average output voltage the firing angle less than the 90 degree the average output voltage becomes a positive load power is positive so the motor will be rotating in one direction more than the 90 degrees average output voltage is negative load power becomes a negative now the load is giving a power back to the source in this case the load is nothing but a dc motor. in that case the motor will be operating as a regenerative brake this circuit is giving a two quadrant operation thank you very much if you have any doubt you can ask me directly or you can ask uh, you can ask in the comment box of the youtube channel so that i am available to answer all your questions